If you have been already using Cyanogen Mod 11 on your Moto E, then well, Cyanogen Mod 12 is there to surprise you again. But hey, let me tell you that the features which you saw earlier on the Cyanogen Mod 11 is the same that continues with the Cyanogen Mod 12. But the only difference that differentiates these both ROMs, that is the Cyanogen Mod 11 and the 12, is the user interface. So the Cyanogen Mod 12 is actually based on Android Lollipop 5.0.2 whereas the Cyanogen Mod 11 was based on KitKat 4.4.4 so without any further ado let's take a deep look inside it and see how it looks so starting the ROM review let's start off with the lock screen itself at the bottom we have three icons as you can see so the left corner we have direct access to the dialer just by swiping it once and at the bottom we have the swipe up to unlock and at the right we have direct access to the camera so right now we don't really need this and let's get inside the device by swiping up to unlock and putting up the pin unlock. all right so sweet animation for getting inside the device too let's start off with the status bar this is the notification panel nothing much more fancy nothing like dropping down everything another swipe down gets you to the toolkits Alright, so inside the toolkits we have the brightness slider up in the top which I'm holding on to the minimum level right now. So you can actually barely see the screen. Uh, maybe you can't but I can so I'm holding on to the notch of the brightness slider and moving it backward to the highest level. So we have handy toolkits like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the data connection airplane mode, the screen rotation toggle with sweet animation, GPS cast screen, screen timeout and hotspot you can also set a few more additional uh, toggles but not as many as you got in the Cyanogen Mod 11 we also have this with a uh, multi-user facility where you can hand over to any person just by setting up the guest user so in that case they cannot really uh, touch your personal files so they'll be running a new session and that's pretty great it's something similar to the windows computers you use now getting back to the actual owner itself the main thing which we actually like is the sweet animation everywhere that's the material design concept in the app drawer we don't have any new cyanogen mod apps except a few updated apps like the music and a new audio effects app for you to give more boost on music which we have dsp manager previously we also have the theme manager installed inside again for you to customize your cyanogen mod 12. now the play store is filled with cyanogen mod 12 themes not really filled but there are quite a few which you can get so let's get inside the settings and yes i actually forgot you to tell about the data connection out there over here this is something great so it actually shows you the full data consumption uh, from the time period you've been using the data I use my Wi-Fi so that's no big deal on that but that's pretty great and so it's sound you can adjust the ring volume media volume and thing but the good thing is that you can directly access them on the home screen or wherever you are in any app you are so ringer volume the media and alarm so you can set it to all priority or totally in silent mode this is how the recent apps looks like in the cyanogen mod 12. now getting back to the sound settings let's get back and get inside display and lights inside display and lights we have the expanded desktop for sure and we also get to adjust the brightness level over here auto brightness is there let's say in expanded desktop we don't have any additional toggle all right over here we also have the double tap to sleep uh, feature which we also had in the cyanogen mod 11. in expanded desktop you don't get any toggles out there but over here you can adjust it however you want so this is how the power menu looks like again the expanded desktop you can assign any app with any type of 
expanded desktop you want like if you want to hide the status bar or the navigation bar for any app as you wish so i prefer the games to hide the status bar and the navigation bar most of the time so that it does not clash while gaming you can adjust the pulse of the notification light with this setting one thing that disappointed me is that cyanogen mod 12 had to remove ambient display but hey the cyanogen mod 12 again stays with its own rules and regulations inside lock screen you can set up screen lock quick and lock and a few handy things like that you can also have your owner info and yes we also have the lock screen shortcuts the two things which you saw on lock screen you can either have it on default or select any application to start it directly from the lock screen now coming to the button section you can customize the navigation bar button just by adding two extra buttons maybe there's no much of toggles or much of options left for you you can customize the power menu by selecting whatever option you want to be there on the power menu by reducing it or by increasing it so that was the power menu thing you can also keep extra two shortcuts on the navigation ring if you prefer you can even remove the google now um, shortcut or that's on your opinion when you're done we get back and now in buttons and layout as i said we can just add any two of these options that's the search button and the menu button so we don't really need that let's get back and the battery consumption so far so good but i see actually i see a bit of more battery drain than how it was previously on the Synergy Mod 11 and the disappointing part is that I don't see any battery saver option but yes you can tweak it with the performance settings given below nothing fancy inside security you can remove or add any users over there or through the status bar now customizing the status bar is like keeping the center clock style adding the am pm and all those style you can even change the battery status style to circle icon portrait or anything that favors you you can even have the battery percentage displayed inside or next to the battery you can even control the brightness just by sliding over the status bar from left to right or let the system do it or even you can adjust it through this slider so in the notification drawer we have quick pull down from the right side i've assigned it to pull down the toggles directly and then from the left side you get direct access to the status bar again pulling it down we get direct access to the toolkits two finger swipe is also supported over here I've assigned these many toggles out here the things which I actually need you can either either add or delete any toggles from here easily and that goes away in the status bar too in Cyanogen Mod 11 you would have observed a lot of toggles but in Cyanogen Mod 12 it is limited to only a six or seven toggles the one good thing is that you also get weather updates on the status bar apps all right so we all know that art runtime is a big headache for low internal storage running devices like the moto e but good thing is that you can choose your preferred install location sounds great this was something which isn't there in the cyanogen mod 11 kitkat over here you can select the apps to get installed directly to the removable sd card or the internal device storage or even let the dis system decide it the ram consumption in the cyanogen mod 12 is also pretty decent so in that case you get good performance all the time and that's the reason the rom is pretty snappier all the time 
so we also have the storage thing here let's take a look inside the storage so like i said the guest user actually uses separate amount of storage in your internal memory i suppose and over here you can manage your storage like i said we also have the performance tweaker of this rom so you can either increase or decrease the cpu frequency to your favor or leave the cpu governors to do this for you are you schedulers i don't think you should meddle around with these things if you don't know what you're doing just leave it like that the system will handle it so that was pretty much it about the cyanogen mod 12 review and i will be coming up with a lot of rom reviews like the bliss pop resurrection remix and all those roms are coming up pretty soon so stay subscribed to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one are you ready for the